Hey guys, welcome to Skill Link. Humans used copper wires to transmit information over long distances earlier. Today, copper wires are increasingly being replaced by fiber optic cables. The fiber optic cables transmit information using light pulses in contrast to copper cables which use electric pulses. When compared to copper cables, fiber optic cables require less maintenance and can transmit information over long distances without the need of being strengthened in the path. The signals transmitted by fiber optic cables also have a higher speed and have large information carrying capacity. All these advantages are the reason why the communication industry is actively switching from copper cables to fiber optic cables. These fiber optic cables are divided into different types based on the material used, refractive index, and the mode. What does mode mean? Well, stay tuned to find out. We will discuss each of these types in this video. Based on the material used, optical fibers are divided into glass optical fibers and plastic optical fibers. The glass optical fibers are usually made of silica and can transfer data at the rate of 100 Mbps, that is a high transmission speed. They are quite delicate in nature, but still, they can withstand extreme temperature conditions. Glass optical fibers are favored for long distance communication as they exhibit a lower loss in signal strength. These fibers, however, cannot be cut and spliced and need trained technicians for its installation. When it comes to plastic optical fibers or POF, they use polymethyl metacrylate or PMMA as its core material. They transfer data at a rate of 2.5 GB per second. POF is also known as consumer fibers since they are easy to install and are of low cost. In addition to this, they are highly sturdy when bent or stretched. The POF, however, exhibits propagation loss and so they are preferred only for short distances. The next type of optical fiber is based on its refractive index. The refractive index of a material determines how fast light can travel through it. In this category, Optical fibers are divided into step index fibers and graded index fibers. Let's first discuss the step index fiber. We are aware that the optical fiber has an inner part called the core and an outer part called the cladding. Let's assume the refractive index of the core to be N1 and the refractive index of the cladding to be N2. The variation of refractive index of the core and cladding region is uniform throughout the optical fiber. Since the refractive index of the core and cladding is distinct, this type of optical fiber is called the step index fiber. In step index fiber, the light ray propagates in the form of sharp angles through the core cladding interface. When it comes to the graded index fiber, the refractive index of the cladding is fixed. However, the refractive index of the core is not uniform throughout. The refractive index will be highest at the center of the core and as the radial distance increases from the core, the refractive index decreases. Because of this variation in the refractive index, the rays follow a sinusoidal path. When compared to step index fiber, graded index fiber provides higher bandwidth. The final category for optical fibers is based on the mode. The mode determines the number of rays that can pass through the optical fiber at a given time. In this category, fibers are divided into single mode and multi-mode fiber. In single mode fiber, only one ray of light travels at a given time. Single mode fibers are used for long distances since they have shown to not disperse. Single mode fibers have small core diameters of about 10 micrometers and also are capable of carrying a higher bandwidth. In a multi mode fiber, multiple rays of light travel at a time, each having a different refraction angle. Multi mode fibers are used for short distances since the signals in them disperse over long distances. The multi-mode fibers have the core diameter of about 50 micrometers, which allows multiple signals to propagate through the fiber. They carry a smaller bandwidth when compared to single-mode fibers. For higher transmission rate and higher bandwidth transfer, one prefers single-mode fibers. Depending upon the need for a long distance or short distance communication or whether multiple or single signals need to be transmitted, one can pick the desired optical fiber. With this, we will conclude this video here. We'll see you again in the next one. Until then, bye.